question and grace the function. Now, before we pro proceed, with kind permission of our principal sir and Sheikh sir, I would like to share a news which will make both the colleges proud. Sir, can I take two minutes for this news? Yes, yes, madam. Sure. Please. Yeah. So, I would like to, I am pleased to inform all of you that Ms. Sana Sheikh, who is presently working with us as assistant professor, she is also ex-student of our college. She has done MSc from our college and she is also ex-student of Maharashtra College. She has done BSc from Maharashtra College. She is selected for doing PhD from IIT Bombay. Now, this is indeed a moment of proud for all of us. Sana is the second student of our college who is selected for doing PhD from IIT Bombay. The first student was Krishna Gupta. Dear Sana, we shall miss you next year. On behalf of all of us, Bhavan's College and Maharashtra College, I congratulate you and wish you all the very best in whatever you do in your career as well as personal life. Thank you, sir. Now, I would you, like to introduce today's guest speaker, sir, Dr. Sheikh. Dr. Sheikh is PhD, DSC, Doctor of Science, who is alumni of Institute of Chemical Technology, Mumbai. He is a fellow member of following organizations, America and Mid East Institute of Chemistry, Analytical and Nuclear Chemistry of Allied Scientists. BARC, India, World Research Associations. He is also on the editorial board of research, Journal of Chemistry and Environment. He is a PhD guide. His field of research is magnetic surfactants and herbal medicine. Sir has published many research papers of an international repute. There are many national and international awards to his credit. He has been awarded as a leading scientist of the world in 2012, Cambridge, England. He has been selected one amongst 2000 intellectuals of the 21st century Cambridge, England in 2012. Sir has authored books for junior college, degree college and competitive exams like IIT, JE, and NEET under S. Chan publication. Sir has taught all the formats of chemistry almost all over India. Presently, he is head of chemistry department and associate professor at Maharashtra College, Mumbai. We are fortunate to have such a versatile personality with us to share his knowledge and to guide us. I request, sir, to begin with the session. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Dr. Urmila Maru, madam. Uh, now I would like to request uh, Sheikh sir to deliver the talk on career guidance. Uh, and one more thing, uh, Sheikh sir, we have uh, just sending the YouTube streaming link to you. You have to forward this link to your student. And now you can start your session, sir. Old yes. You, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. You are. Yes. Respected principal, our loving principal and very old friend of mine, Professor Dr. Rathod, sir. Very nice to see you virtually. Head of the chemistry department, Dr. Rumila Maruman, Dr. Dr. Sandeep, and all the colleagues, all the participants and loving students. Today we all are here for Camecaster, the different competitions in that today's my talk is on career prospects in chemistry. I have designed my talk in two parts. The first part I'll be letting you know what the chemistry is and its applications. The second part will be the career opportunities in chemistry in India and abroad. And I will let you know that why you should make a career in chemistry. 
chemistry opes its inception from Egypt. The chemists were called as alchemists. Chemistry is mother of sciences. On one side, it makes bridge with physics, that is a chemical physics. On the other side, it makes bridge with biological sciences, that is your botany, zoology, and all the life sciences, that is biochemistry and biotechnology. Chemistry is defined as the science of atoms, their structure, interaction, and combination. Atoms. The atom, the building block of matter. In 8th century, Jabir ibn Hayyan said that atom is the smallest part of a matter which takes part in a chemical reaction without losing its identity. Same thing was repeated after 1000 years in 1803 by Dalton, who said that atom is the smallest individual particle which takes part in the chemical reaction while retaining its identity. Remember, he coined the idea in early 19th century that atom is indivisible. But today we all know there are more than 20 subatomic particles, electrons, protons, neutrons, gravitons, photons, phonons, V particle, G particle, leptons, gluons, bosons, mesons, quarks, top quark, down quark, charm quark, strange quark, beauty quark. And 2013, Nobel Prize was given for God particle jointly to Peter Hicks and Frank Weiss Engler. This God particle is very powerful, exists everywhere, but cannot be traced. It originates from an invisible field. And this field is present even though space seems to be empty. Because without this field, nothing can acquire the mass. From plants, to flowers, to animals, to human beings, nothing can exist without this field. There are different facets of chemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry, analytical chemistry, pharmaceutical chemistry, textile chemistry, drugs, dyes, perfumery, oils, fats, and cosmetology, forensic science, blood chemistry, emotional chemistry, as well as polymer chemistry. So many are there. You must be thinking, what is emotional chemistry? Remember, the happiness, sadness, stressed, depressed, relaxed, all these are because of chemical reaction taking place in our body. And the chemical messengers, that is neurotransmitters, are generated in the brain. And because of that, one falls in love L-O-V-E, or cries of reverse because of heartbreak. The polymer chemistry has centralized the entire world. Light emitting polymers they find in cellular phones, television, laptop, computer screens, as well as organic solar cells. Light emitting diodes has created a revolution, I must say, in traffic signals, railway indicators, remote controls, as well as camera flashlights, and medicines. There are water-soluble polymers. They form a part of plasma as well as the whole blood. The synthetic blood is nothing but the emulsion of polytetrafluoroethylene, along with that glucose, salt, and surfactants. Nowadays, if you might have seen, the doctors use sutures, that is biodegradable polymers, water-soluble polymers, that is copolymer glycolic acid, 
and lactic acid doctors they do the stitching they join together the tissues till healing and after one week or two weeks time this polymer breaks into monomer and monomer is metabolized in the body if you see the heart heart valves are made up of silicon rubber aneurysm that is said to be the weakened arterial wall for the polyesters or polytetraphila tetra polytetrafluoroethylene fabrics are used in case of complete blocked arteries it is noticed that polytetrafluoroethylene as well as polymethyl methacrylate fabrics are used the heart pumps titanium polycarbonate polytetrafluoroethylene along with that polymethacrylate as well as rayon fiber cellulose acetate fibers are used if you look at bone bone fracture when the bone gets fractured you must have seen the doctor applies the plaster it is our chemistry plaster of paris calcium sulfate into half h2o the bone develops cartilages on its own through its own repairing mechanism doctor only applies the plaster it is found that nowadays polyurethane epoxy resins and vinyl resins are used for bone fractures for fingers for wrist as well as knee cap nowadays the polymers are used they are silicon rubber rods you might have heard particularly artificial kidney the function of kidney is a beautiful example of our physical chemistry osmosis osmotic pressure diffusion and all that electrolysis polyacrylonitrile it is heparinized just to stop the clotting of blood is used along with that it is noticed that when we do dialysis the hospitals are very bulky and it is based on the principle that diffusion of solid particles and ultra filtration of fluid through the semi permeable membrane in case of contact lenses if we see earlier polymethyl methacrylate hard lenses were used but nowadays flexible soft hydroxy ethyl methacrylate under the name hema is used you might have seen there is a research that is a hydrogel research it is gaining lots of popularity particularly film actors and actresses you see they are having different colored eyes it is the beauty of our polymer chemistry i'll say here if the lens natural lens is damaged or due to cataract it has to be replaced nowadays hydrogels are used our chemistry in the field of forensic science you can go for forensic department forensic scientists what they do they collect the sample preserve the sample examine the sample and after that they submit the report in the court of law and based on that report just gives the verdict that is the judgment it is a very nice field if you see the formulation chemistry what is the formulation chemistry in formulation chemistry the addition of inactive materials to increase the quality and quantity and durability now you can see its effect in cosmetology paints as well as food in cosmetology what they do they prepare different types of samples by adding many additives non reactive to get a new type of sample just like for hair removal in temporary hair removal they do addition of waxing or it is called sugary in case of permanent hair removal they use ipl that is 
intense pulse light or, or electrology. So we can say in cosmetics, whatever you see, it maintains the pH of the skin so that the skin rashes will not be there, marks will be removed and the scars will be removed. So especially the girls can go in cosmetology department. There are many colleges in Mumbai and out of India. So they can do cosmetology, that is certificate course, diploma course, as well as degree course. With the help of that, they can beat the leading Shahnaj Hussain, the leading cosmetologist in India. In the field of formulation chemistry, as I told you, different types of paints, Asian paints, Neurolac paints, all these companies, they provide a good job to our chemistry students based on the formulation chemistry. In case of chemical engineering, what a chemical engineer does, we should know. A chemical engineer devices, he designed, his designing is done in such a way so that the reactor as well as the material, the raw material, the product, as well as the excretory product which comes out as a byproduct, all these should be safer side, they should be safe from the pollution control point of view, they should be eco-friendly. So by this way, we can go for chemical injury, cosmetology, forensic science. At the same time, if you look at the different aspects of chemistry, what do you look? That is the biochemistry or biotechnology. I give one example, Dr. Hargobind Khorana, who got Nobel Prize in 1968 for pointing out, unfolding the mystery of genetic code in the nucleotide of the nucleoside. He had done MSc with physical chemistry from Punjab University. Then he switched over to biotechnology, went to America and got the Nobel Prize in 1968. And in 1970, he and his team for the first time came out with the artificial copy of East Gene. So we can say chemistry is the mother of sciences. You can go for geochemistry, you can go for blood chemistry, that is pathology and all that. You can go for water chemistry. We know water is a life. Japanese scientist Masaru Emoto did a lots of research for 15 years. He came out with five volumes and he published that book. And it was in 2005, it was the best New York seller. In that case, he said that water has got a memory. Why we say water is alive? The beauty lies in its memory. Water absorbs whatever happens in the surrounding. It just photocopies it because it has got a memory, it has got a vibration. We know very well, chemistry people or chemistry students know very well, water has got SP3 hybridization, bond angle should be 109 degrees, 28 minutes. But because of VACPRT, valence electron pair repulsion theory, lone pair, lone pair, lone pair, bond pair, bond pair, bond pair repulsion, the bond angle gets reduced to 104.5 degree with bent V shape. And in higher spectroscopy, we know it has got symmetric stretching, asymmetric stretching, and bending stretching. Masaru Emoto did a research for 15 years, and he said that the sound, the word, it has got vibration. And same with these vibrations affect the vibration of water molecule. So he said that if you use the soft words like thank you or I love you, he found that water crystals were beautiful shape hexagonal. And he found that while playing a positive music, you can see the crystal structure changing by using a high speed photography. He also said, that if you use the negative words like I hate you, or you fool, it was very difficult to get the crystal of water. So water has got a memory. It absorbs whatever happens in the surrounding. We can go, our chemistry students can go in the water research field and they can do wonders over there. In that case, they can go for water uh, resources. They can go for its analysis and different components and they can become a water chemist. And in that case, water chemist, if they become, they can go abroad, they can get the best opportunities in European countries as well as America. Second scientist, 
that is not fifer from germany munich germany he is a head of large number of medical institutes in munich he said that water has got energetic field and he developed energetic field therapy he said that if you drink water and we take the photographs of the passing as low intensity electromagnetic radiations it is noticed that after drinking water especially some some water one can see the field generated in the human body and the human cell they responded excellently just like masaru emoto's research on water with the positive sound or positive music that the crystals were excellently arranged in hexagonal shape he said that when he passed a low intensity electromagnetic radiations he noticed that the human body cells were responding and they were highly energized in the presence of that water molecules with the person had consumed he did a research with 60 people by offering zam zam water and he showed that it has got a positive effect so in short water has got a memory we are talking about nanotechnology today remember india excelled in nanotechnology in 12th to i can say 13th century 7 to 800 years before it was ancient india ancient indians were excelling in nanotechnology the best example i'll give you two examples over here the best one of the best example is kutub minar kutub minar in delhi it has got a wrought iron with 98% and beautiful nanotechnology that in 800 years it has not corroded at all this kutub minar was studied by kutubuddin abak in 1193 then altamash then firoz shah tughlaq it was completed in 1368 so it was so designed indians were so excelled in nanotechnology that people are today talking about and the beauty of nanotechnology is that these nanoparticles my loving students you will be shocked to know that the nanoparticles they have got astonishing physical properties chemical properties electrical conductivity thermal conductivity ductility malleability density etc we all know bulk gold is yellow in color but if we take 50 nanometer gold size it is pink in color purple in color but if we take gold in 25 nanometer size it is ruby red in color if we take 1 nanometer size it gives orange color so different colors of gold it is beauty of nanoparticles and if we look at the other aspect of chemistry we talk about the catalysis you know the catalytic converters in automobile they find their use to remove the noxious gases like co and nox that is no n2 n2 3 n2 4 n2 5 at the same time we can say that our chemistry is everywhere in every works of life right from your kitchen remember when you cut the onion you start tearing do you know why you start tearing because in onion flesh onion cells there is a propyl sulfoxide when it comes in contact with the atmosphere or it touches the eye it reacts with the moisture and produces sulfuric acid and that that brings about irritation and tearing to our eyes in order to avoid this tearing you should soak onion in water or oven it or you can cut the onion with super sharp knife or you can put in your mouth chewing gum or you can put a piece of bread or you can use goggles see the beautiful chemistry in our apple <coughs> in our banana in our pear when we cut the banana apple or pear and keep it open for some time in the atmosphere it turns green it turns brown in color this is called browning of apple browning of banana and browning of pear do you know what is this my loving students will be shocked to know that in these fleshes there is polyphenyl oxidase enzyme it oxidizes polyphenols in the flesh 
of these fruits, that is apple, banana, and pear, it produces orthoquinone, that is 1 to benzoquinone, which reacts with amino acid. And this amino acid further gets oxidized due to the reaction of amino acid and benzoquinone. It gives a brown melanin. And that brown melanin is the color which is seen on the surface of the cut apple, banana, as well as pear. If you look at the pineapple, its pH is 3 to 4. It is very acidic. And if you look at the melon, that is musk melon, watermelon, and other fruits, they are found to be having less acidity. That is, acid amount is less. That is said to be malic acid. Pineapple contains citric acid as well as malic acid. So we can say that chemistry is in every walk of life. Just I told you, you can become a chemist. It is not only that you can become a teacher in a college and teach chemistry, or you can become a lab assistant. No, you can become a teacher, you can become a professor, you can become a chemist, you can become a scientist, you can become a forensic scientist, you can become a pain technologist, you can become a cosmetologist, you can become a forensic scientist, you can develop chemical engineering, you can become a pharmaceutical industry, you can go, you can become a very famous pharmacist. You can also go abroad in the next part of my lecture. I'll tell you how you can go abroad and flourish and you become best in your career by taking chemistry as one of the major subjects. Now I'll tell you, there are different companies in India that is a CIPLA, Johnson & Johnson, Lupin, Ghada Chemical, Sun Pharma, Dr. Reddy's Lab, Arti Chemical. So many are there in Mumbai and out of Mumbai, all over India. You can get a nice job over there. After the second part of my talk is that how you can flourish yourself and make your career by choosing a particular stream of chemistry. Rather than talking about after BSc, I let you know first one step before 12th standard. Remember, after 12th standard passing with science, students, they go for NEET, ITG, CET to become doctor, engineer, or pharmacist. And this to our week, uh, they go for IT, information technology, or computer science. But some of the students who are left out, they go for BSc. In BSc, when you are choosing your subject, there is CBZ, chemistry, botany, zoology. There is a PCM, physics, chemistry, maths. There is a PCV, physics, chemistry, botany, or PCM, physics, chemistry, maths. So while choosing, you should be very careful that if you are making your career with chemistry, then remember my chemistry is easier than maths and physics. It is little tougher than botany and zoology. So if you take PCM group or PCB, PCZ, and second year as PC physics and chemistry, it helps you to learn and understand physical chemistry in your SYBSC as well as in TYBSC. Now, if you want to go abroad, after 12th standard, in 10th and 12th, you should have 80%. And you should pass one English proficiency test, that is a TOEFL or IELTS. That is International Eng English Language Testing System. And two very strong recommendation letters. You can go abroad. Outside India, the five countries are there who welcome students for chemistry learning. They are America, that is USA, UK, Germany, along with that Ireland and China. You'll be shocked to know China. China recently has come out with very nice, fantastic infrastructure. So these five countries, that is America, UK, Germany, Ireland, as well as China, they welcome chemistry students.
students, whether you go for graduation, post-graduation, or you go for your PhD, that is the doctoral. Now, after completing BSc in chemistry, if you want to be in India and you want to pursue your MSc, then remember in premier institutes like IITs, there are 23 IITs in India and the top most at present case is IIT Mumbai. Then IIT Delhi, IIT Madras, which is Chennai now, and IIT Kharagpur, Ruriki, and all that. IIT Mumbai, that is 23 institutes out of that, IIT Mumbai is at number one. In my, during my PhD work, I was jointly with ICT, Institute of Chemical Technology, as well as IIT Pavai. I know these two institutes are the premier institutes for PhD, as well as MSc. If you want to go for MSc, then remember, after passing your BSc for going MSc courses in these institutes, you must pass out their entrance exam. They've got entrance exam, as well as BHU, Bits Pilani, all these are premier institutes. They want your entrance exam for the entry point. So we can say in India, if you want to go for premier institute for MSc, you have to qualify their entrance exam. Otherwise, if you want to get admission in MSc in universities like Mumbai University, it is based on your percentage of mark in TYBSc, third year BSc, there is a merit list. Now, if you want to go abroad for your MSc, what you have to do? If you want to go abroad for MSc, you should have minimum 55% mark in your BSc level. And I told you your 10th and 12th, 80%. And you should have English proficiency test that is a TOEFL or IELTS or SAT, GMAT, depending on the university, depending on the country, you can go with two strong recommendation letters. They welcome you. You can complete your MSc over there. My one of the students, I remember in 2002, after 12th, he wanted to make his career in chemistry rather than going to IIT. He went to USA, he did his BSc, MSc, PhD. For the time being, he was in NASA. I don't know where he is now, but he was a very brilliant student. Even after 12th, he can go, after BSc, he can go, after MSc. Now question arises, suppose you completed your MSc with chemistry, what are the options over here? After MSc, if you want to do PhD in premier institutes like IITs, ICT, that is Institute of Chemical Technology, which was called UDCT earlier, it is the premier institute best in Asia for chemical engineering. Where I was there since 1988 to 1992, during M.M. Sharma was the director of that institute. It is a famous institute, very interesting to work over there. And remember, all the doctorates who do from there, they go abroad. So these IITs, ICTs, as well as BHU, Bits Pilani, Rurikis, they require GATE exam, Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. GATE, Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. This GATE exam is conducted by ITNs, so you can qualify that GATE exam and get PhD admission in these premier institutes. If not that, you can go for CSIR UGC net, qualify that, prepare for that. There are institutes, there are coaching centers for that. You can do self-study, prepare for that and qualify. That is for lectureship. As well as you can get a very nice scholarship, huge amount, you can take care of yourself, family, and your studies, and get in the premier institutes. If you don't get that, then all the universities in India, especially our Mumbai, PET exam is there, preliminary examination test. Qualify that and get admission for PhD in the universities or in colleges. But remember, if you get PhD from premier institutes like IITs, ICT, Bits Pilani, BHU, TFR, BARC, they all require gate exam. You'll be getting a door, a window to foreign countries. So you can do this. That is 
MSc, after that do PhD, after PhD you can become an assistant lecturer or you can become, a, uh, you can say in some of the premier companies as a chief, I can say RD, research and development analyzer, and you can develop your own skill. You can formulate the chemicals and come out the new products in the market. So we can say, if we take chemistry as a major subject, as a main subject, then it will be helping you throughout your life. I can say, my chemistry is in every walk of life. Remember when you get up early in the morning, what do we use? You use your toothbrush, it is a chemistry. Use your toothpaste, that is nothing but it contains, let it be Colgate, let it be Clojure or any brand, it contains stannous fluoride. This fluoride coats the calcium hydroxyapatite or the tooth enamel. So whatever the food particles, <coughs> they are entangled within the teeth, they produce acid. So it nullifies the acid and protects your tooth. Remember, when cavities are generated, root canaling is done, you go to the doctor. You know, these are polyacrylonitrile. They use for acrylic teeth as well as the base material. Nowadays, people earlier used to fill the cavities with silver amalgam or gold. But nowadays, they are having chemicals. That is our chemistry plays a vital role over there. That is thermosetting as well as photosetting polymers. You might have seen when you, you have gone to doctor for tooth filling or you can see root canaling, you might have seen for setting those polymers, they use blue light. That blue light is called the curing light. So we can say, moment we start to tooth brushing, after that, you take tea, coffee, biscuit, or whatever you take, sandwich, it is entire composite, it is a catalyst to you, which will be catalyzing throughout the day. After that, you take a meal, soft meal, after that, you take your cloths, that is textile chemistry. I'll tell you in I city, there is perfumery department, textile department, drugs and dyes, pharmaceutical, food technology, as well as there is oils, fats, and lipids. All these departments are there in I city, that is Institute of Chemical Technology. If you get a chance to enter over there, it will be really a window, a door to the foreign countries for further research in the field of chemistry and chemical engineering. So after taking your clothes and all that, you take a vehicle. The vehicle, let it be a scooter, let it be a car, let it be auto, let it be whatever you reach to the office through these vehicles, this vehicle contains CNG or diesel or petrol, whatever the case may be. When you enter in your office, what do you see? The furniture, the fan, the AC, the fridge, and all the things are chemistry. So we can say when you come back through all those things, without chemistry, you cannot walk, cannot talk, cannot do anything. So my chemistry is everywhere in every walk of life. So our chemistry has centralized the entire world by making a bridge with physics on one side, that is the chemical physics, and making a bridge with biological sciences on the other hand, and making it a biotechnology or biochemistry, giving some name, but chemistry is everywhere. So I say, my suggestion is that, walk chemistry, eat chemistry, drink chemistry, enjoy chemistry, make your career in chemistry. Thank you very much. God bless you and you prosper in the field of science, especially chemistry. And when you go abroad, do their MS, do their PhD, make money for five to 10 to 15 years and come back to our loving country, India and serve the nation. In my time, I had got in five countries, America, that is USA, UK, France, as well as Poland. But after doing postdoc, I came back to India and I taught chemistry all over India. I'm doing it. May God take these facilities and these experience to be shared with all the nations, all the people in the world. And I bless the God 
give you strength, power, energy to excel in all walks of life. And you become many, many times more than me and all the people around. So with this, I say thank you very much. Now the important questions, any queries from your side, please. Yes, any questions, please? Yes, the question is IPR. It is IPL, that is intense pulsed light. Actually, it removes the hair along with the follicles, that is the root. Yes, any question, please? Come on. Yeah, regarding gate exam, maths is not compulsory. You can prepare for it, you can qualify and get admission for PhD in the premier institutes. Yes, come on, please. Any more question? Yes, very good. You can do MSc in Forensic Science. It is just like after 12th standard, we do BSc in Chemistry, then MSc in Chemistry. Now, if you've done your BSc with chemistry doesn't matter. You'll be having a double degree. You can go for BSc forensic science. You can go for MSc in forensic science. You can go for PhD. There is a best institute for forensic science at Madam Kama Road Church Gate. Along with that, it is in Gujarat, it is in Ahmedabad, it is in Punjab, and different parts of India. It's an excellent field, and you can progress in that by doing wonders. Yes, maths in the sense that in 11th and 12th, not in first year BSc, second year BSc, third year BSc. 11th and 12th maths. Can we pursue MTech with chemical engineering? Yes. See, after writing gate exam, you can get admission for MTech. And at the same time, if you remember, you can guide the students after 12th standard. If they go, it will be better. That is, they will do BTech, MTech, and PhD tech. But after MSc, if they write the gate exam, they will get admission over there. They can do MTech after that PhD tech. Yes, for getting admission in Forensic Science BSc, the requirement is 12 standard with science. But you have done your BSc with chemistry. After that, you want to do uh, BSc in Forensic Science, you can do it. You don't have maths in 12 standard, but doesn't matter. You can write their entrance exams. Some of the students, they have got their own entrance exams, just like ICT is having. 
IITs are also having, DHU is having. Their entrance exams, you can qualify, you can get admission in those premier institutes. Thank you, sir. Welcome, dear. Yes, very good. For perfumery, as I told you, this is a very uh, exciting and very, I can say, pleasant field for chemistry students. It is a center in Vajay College. At the same time, it is in ICT, Institute of Chemical Technology. And the, I mean, ICT is the best along with the Vajay College. If you get ICT, well and good. Otherwise, Vajay College, it is the same thing after 12th standard. But doesn't matter. If you completed a BSc with chemistry, you can also get admission for that. OK, sir. Yes, all right. Student, if you have any question, please uh, put up in a chat box or you can ask directly to sir. Yes, sure, sure, sure. TYBSC student, please, any SY, doubt? SY, FY. If you have any doubt, you can ask. SYBSC, FYBSC, please don't hesitate. Otherwise, we have the, so many questions. Uh, Sheikh, sir. Somebody is asking, small, small somebody question. is asking after MSc can go for forensic. Yes, doesn't matter. You'll be having double degrees, BSc and MSc, and after the entering in forensic science, it will be triple degree. Go on learning as much as possible. And that will give you more flavor and more glory. You can do after that. You'll be having more experience and you become a better forensic scientist. You can make shake the judges in the courts, that is high court and supreme courts. Uh, Sheikh, sir, I have one question. Yes, sure. Tell me exactly what is the scope of entire chemistry? Scope of entire chemistry, TYBSC. Yes, very good question. Scope of entire chemistry means you are talking about all the branches of chemistry, organic, inorganic, physical, analytical, pharmaceutical, so on and so forth. Now, very first answer I'll give you. If anybody wants to go teaching in school or junior college, particularly school, mostly after BSc, they do B.A. and go for teaching, or after MSc, they do B.A. and go for teaching. Then remember, if a student from botany is coming, zoology is coming, chemistry is coming, then remember, chemistry student will be selected first for teaching post in school. Your question will be why the reason is that in 10 standard chemistry, botany, zoology, if you look at that physics and chemistry is more, 75%, 25% is biology. A chemistry graduate can teach physics and chemistry up to 10th level very nicely. That's the reason why my humble request and suggestion is that who wants to go teaching in schools, they must take chemistry in their graduation and master if they do master, they will become a principal. And after graduation, if they go for teaching, they will become a teacher and they will be first selected. Even the physics and botany zoology will not be selected, but the first preference will be given to chemistry because the chemistry teacher can teach physics and chemistry and biology together in a school. Similarly, if you go for in uh, teaching in junior college or even degree college, you see number of chemistry students are more and therefore number of teachers will also required will be more. So that's the reason why if input is more, output will be naturally more. So you'll be getting good options to get chemistry. I can say teaching in school, college, as well as in university. Secondly, you see that there are pharmaceutical companies and entire drugs, dyes, pharmaceuticals, so many I have told you all these are nothing but chemistry students are first selected. So overall, in all the industrial field, <laughs> you can say soil pollution, water pollution, air pollution, or uh, environmental chemistry, environmental control, all these only chemistry graduates are involved, chemistry persons are involved with MSc and PhD. So chemistry, whether you go in industry or you go in uh, what is called in school, teaching, college, university, everywhere you will get chemistry. So overall, chemistry is the most boosting. Number of students are more, number of teachers are more. And in that case, you'll be getting more probability for getting selected. 
and remember outside india if you go just i cited one example of dr hargobin khurana that people the background of chemistry only can excel in biotechnology microbiology as well as biological sciences so all these great personnel of botany and zoology they are having their chemistry as a foundation that's the reason why my chemistry overall is applicable in every walk of life and you can make career with chemistry with excellent opportunities yes how do uh, hey, you know yeah yeah sure ha i have one question yeah uh, what i observed is uh, students find chemistry difficult to score as compared to other subject and uh, secondly especially organic chemistry they are afraid of yes 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 what is the solution to that i'll tell you secret about that <laughs> you use the word other don't say other my chemistry our chemistry is yes sir our chemistry easier than physics and maths universe yes sir my our chemistry is little tougher little tougher than botany and zoology so yes, our sir. chemistry is backbone it links mm. biological sciences on one side and physics and maths on the other side so yes, for little effort one has to do as much mm. you put that much it will be sweet neither mm. less sugar nor put more sugar so yes sir in that case chemistry is very much eco friendly i can say i can say brain friendly or we can say the life friendly so as you talked about organic chemistry they find yes. it organic chemistry the simplest here i taught stereo chemistry and reaction mechanism for iit je and ai triple e 25 years all over india i i made lakhs of rupees out of that it is the simplest only thing is that little background of inorganic and physical chemistry is must inorganic chemistry may periodic table chemical bonding as well as atomic structure these three chapters should be thorough with that and in physical chemistry entropy thermodynamics and all that if it is little clear one can excel in chemistry excellently now coming to the nomenclature of organic compounds and the stereochemical mechanisms of that i'll tell you if inorganic chemistry is perfect with atomic structure periodicity chemical bonding you can create a new mechanism of yours in my book etod oxidation you will find there is no mechanism even in morrison void me it is given no mechanism i have given two mechanisms for that that is said to be cationic anionic as well as free radical mechanism so ionic mechanism as well as radical mechanism in clemenson's reduction you see there is no mechanism here in this case carbonium ion carbenium ion radical and carbene is generated so if inorganic chemistry is thorough with those three chapters you can generate a reaction mechanism on your own and decide the fate of the mechanism depending on entropy free energy and enthalpy so organic chemistry is very easy but first before teaching we should give little background of inorganic chemistry and little physical chemistry then start with organic chemistry and the beauty of organic chemistry to make it simple and understand make a practice it is not like online make a practice you will ask them to submit the assignment they just photocopy and give that you make them write the reaction once twice thrice i assume they will write that much it will go in brain like mathematics organic chemistry without writing it doesn't penetrate the brain as it should so therefore writing practice is must in organic chemistry and along with derivations of physical chemistry yes dear anything more <clears throat> yes get net csr you see all these exams well for getting uh, admission in phd akanksha what is your question can we do uh... any other courses bsc sir one girl is asking yes. sir we can do any other courses with bsc uh you cannot do two courses from the same university you can enroll in some other university and i can do it if you can because mumbai university does not permit two courses from the same university i can do it from gujarat university punjab university delhi university 
you can do two courses okay sir thank you welcome dear yes any more question please sir two degree i company in abroad yes pharmaceutical companies abroad see if you are doing phd from reputed institute in india there are many pharmaceutical companies on google you will see there are brands and you can get from the related topic whatever your phd topic was there what your master topic was there related on that if you apply over there with two strong recommendation letters you will get admission over there they conduct their interviews and after conducting the interview seeing your recommendations as well as your uh, qualification and the scope of your subject the theme the topic which you have decided during your phd that will help you to qualify and get admission in abroad companies two uh, two degree courses can be done from two different universities at a time yes can be done who knows that in okay. university okay. that you are doing okay. some course from some two other two university this is good type of thinking Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Or, which? Ah, thank you, sir. Student, do you have any other questions? If not, then we are in a position to end the session. Ah, uh, from student side, if anybody is interested to give the feedback, please unmute and give the feedback. Ah, uh, how you feel about today's session? Bubbly, can you unmute yourself? Bubbly from MSc Part Two. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning, dear. Good morning. God bless. Hello. Yes, dear. I am listening. Good morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for your time for guiding us. Thank you very much. It was a nice session. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Any other student, Samruddhi? Thank you, sir. What is your feedback? How you like sir session? Yes. So good morning, okay. sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. It was very uh, excellent session. We just loved thank it, you. and thank you for it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Anybody from FIBSC student, newcomers, FIBSC student, anybody can unmute and uh, tell about the session. Yes. Meanwhile, somebody has asked the government exams. Yes, dear. Yes, yes. And this, all the chemistry-related companies and all that, you can go for railway, you can go for navy, you can go for IAS, you can go for IPS. All the exams because science is everywhere, chemistry is everywhere. I taught for IAS students for twenty-five years, almost all over India. If you are preparing for IAS or IPS exam, I'll help you out. You can go for that. With chemistry background, you'll be excelling better. Uh, yes. SYP, somebody, somebody has asked that can I do MSc in forensic science after BSc in chemistry? No, you have to do first BSc in forensic science, then MSc in forensic science. Sejal Sarang, SYBSC, can you can you can give the feedback? Thank you, sir. It is a very useful session anybody from fibsc fibsc yes, can you say something better so the session was very amazing we get a lot of information about the chemistry thank thank you sir thank you so much thank you. thank you god bless uh, uh with this uh, feedback and uh, uh, students query i'm Thank you so much, sir. Shake, sir. Oh, on the behalf oh, of principal, thanks. sir. On the behalf of Maru, ma'am. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, uh, on the behalf of chemistry department, entire chemistry department, we are really grateful to you, uh, student. Uh, I would like to tell you two things. One, uh, feedback link will share uh, today at night. So everybody should give the feedback online by Google form, and it will be considered as a attendance also. so please those have attended the session please give the feedback and uh, at last i would like to uh, request our uh, colleague student our student your student uh, <laughs> miss sana sheik 
to propose a vote of thanks. Uh, Miss Sana Sheikh. Somebody has asked a question for MSc. Yes, you have to do. Uh, you have to write entrance exam getting admission in MSc in ICT. Mm -hmm. They have got entrance exams. You can go <coughs> opposite VJTI Institute. You will get the information. Write that exam, and you can get admission for MSc. For thank you, sir. As well as for research. Thank you, sir. Uh, good morning, one and all uh, present here. On behalf of uh, the head or head of the department, Dr. Urmila Maru and Department of Chemistry, I would like, I miss Sana Sheikh, would like to thank Dr. Ahmad Sheikh, our today's guest lecture, and head of the Department of Chemistry, Maharashtra College, for uh, uh, for his uh, uh, in, uh, accepting our invitation and giving us. Uh, informative and this uh, very uh, very important such, uh, and uh, useful session and sir it was very helpful for a student also it is uh, on career aspects thank you so, uh, so much sir welcome welcome and uh, uh, now i uh, express my sincere thanks to management of our college for uh, their support uh, and thanks for our principal, sir, uh, the, the Professor Dr. S. V. Rathod, uh, for his support and encouragement. Finally, I thank all of the students for their presence and make the event successful. Thank you, all of you, entire chemistry department. Thank you, all of you. Uh, over to Sanjeev, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Sana Sheikh. Now it's time to say bye. <laughs> Uh, yes, Jake, yes. Sir, right. God see bless. You God in bless. Maybe we'll next meet again. Uh, program. Sure, sure. Thank you, sir. Sir, I will coordinate with you after this uh, session is over. Yes, thank you very much. God bless everybody. Sir, the YouTube streaming link is there. To you. Yes, you will be sending me this entire recorded to me on my email. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, that will follow me. Yes, sir. Because I'll be putting on YouTube, so entire world will see. Oh. On my channel. Yeah, okay, 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 we'll follow okay, to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank sure, you. sure, sure. Okay, bye. God bye, bless. Bye. Bye. Uh, bye. Thanks to principal, yes, we are taught, sir. Maru, ma'am, Sandeep, you, and everybody. God bless everybody. To loving student. Have a very, very nice day. God bless everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Have a good day, sir. Thank you, sir. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good day, sir. All the same to you.